My name's Alan Fitzwater. Um, and I guess here's how we'll go. I'm 32 years old. I have a wife and two daughters. It's a Saturday night. My wife has hers and the daughter's bags packed, sitting by the front door. Because she had had it. She had had enough of um, a maniacal, crazy kind of out of control lifestyle. So I went downstairs and sat down on the couch. And I had my one and only real live conversation with God. And it went exactly like this. He said, are you about done? And I said, yeah, I think so. He said, is it my turn now? And I said, yeah, I think so. And in that moment, I understood what dedicating my life to God was all about. There are drinkers and then there are what I refer to as professional drinkers. My general way of going about things was on the way home from work, I would stop, I would buy a case of beer, I'd drink probably 12 of them before I got home. Then I had a quart of bourbon in the garage and I'd just tip it and drink and drink and drink until I passed out every night. Unfortunately, I was also what they would call a bad drunk. Um, I got mean. I got loud. Uh, my girls were, my daughters were afraid of me. And it reached a point where they were genuinely physically afraid and probably should have been. Because I was at a point where really not very much mattered to me and I had basically reached that line where I was either going to drink myself to death or something miraculous was going to happen. Lo and behold, something miraculous happened because I had quit drinking hundreds of times. The next morning, I would quit drinking, right? But there was never anything behind it. There was never any power behind it. You know, without Jesus, a drunk can quit drinking, but what you have at that point is a dry drunk. You don't have a changed life. And that's what God wants to do. That's his job, that's his business. That's what, he's, that's what he is trying to to get the world to understand is that he is a God of change and change for the good. When God took that away, he didn't say, I'm going to work you through this. He didn't say, I'll be with you while you go through this. He said, you're done. And he meant it. And there hasn't been, honestly, there hasn't been a minute of my life that I have considered having a drink of anything. Today I find myself, um, I find my heart being fulfilled in ways that I, I, I never could have dreamed of. I'm leading a study on Saturday nights that is the very essence of, of, of what God has, has spent the past 30 years instilling in me. Um, and I am blown away, blown away by how he could take what my life was and make it what my life is. And what my life is, is a, is a dedication to glorifying God and a recognition and, and a, just this, this zeal to get other people to understand who the Holy Spirit is. And he made it very, very clear to me that for the rest of my time on this earth, that's my purpose. 
that's what I'm here for, is to point people to the Holy Spirit. And that's what I will do. And I've, I've, I've seen things happen. We started a Saturday night group the 1st of June of this year. And I've already seen things happen that are just indescribable. The most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. And I get to be a part of that, knowing where I came out of. So for people who say that God is just a God of judgment and not a God of redemption, they don't know my God. A relationship with God is, is at least in my belief and in, in my life, was a twofold process. It was accepting Jesus and it was dedicating my life to Jesus. So I may have accepted Jesus when I was 22, but I didn't dedicate my life to him until I was 32. And I will say this, the second, I mean the second I dedicated my life to Jesus, alcohol was gone, just like that. That was 31 years ago. I have not one single time in my life even considered it since then. That's the power of God. That's what God wants to do. And all you have to do is let Him do it. There's my story.